All right, guys, so now you have your accessory that you want to turn on and off with the relay box. Well, how do you do that? There's three distinct ways in which you can control and switch on and off whatever accessory you connect. The first way does not require any external source, no external remote switch, wire, anything like that. It's built right into the relay box. In fact, it's one of the slide switches here, these on off switches on the side, labeled channel one, two, three, and four, corresponding to the outputs. This is a four channel relay box, channel one, two, three, four. What this is useful for is if you had an accessory that you only want to turn on and off when you're in the area where the relay box is mounted. Let's say uh, LEDs in the trunk to show off your speaker box and amp rack that you only turn on at a car show. You don't want to go through the trouble of uh, mounting a separate switch somewhere else or tying into a switch in the car. You only want to activate it when you're reaching towards the relay box and that's what you can do. Now another thing this is useful for is troubleshooting. If you have a problem with your 12 volt accessory, your cooling fans, your LED lights, your amplifiers, whatever it is, and they are not turning on, you can always throw the switch to check it out. And with the added on indicator light on the relay box, you can tell what is powered up. Now the second way to turn on and off one of the channels is using an external source, using a remote wire. This can be the remote turn on from a head unit. It can be a light switch built into the car. It could even be a universal switch that you get yourself and install somewhere in the dash or the console or anything you want. All this needs to do is C12 volts. It's connected to one of the corresponding terminals on the input side of the relay box, labeled channel one, two, three, four, just like the outputs channel one, two, three, four, each channel will then turn on and off the associated output channel. So once we energize this wire, it'll turn on the channel just like the onboard switch. Okay, so we have the third way of turning on and off a channel is probably the most popular and that's using one of our integrated switches. Now these can be through one of our pre-made switch panels, which if you see here, we have channel one, two, three, four, just like the four channel relay box. You can also use these as standalone switches and mount it yourself, just drill a hole in the dash or in a console, and get one of our optional direct plug-in cables, 18 feet long. It's a four pin cable that plugs directly into our switch ports which are labeled channel one, two, three, and four. No wiring needed, plugs directly in. The other end plugs directly into one of our Sparked Innovation switches. The default mode of this is one, once activated, the switch will also illuminate, letting you know that that channel is active. Now there are some other features that we're gonna cover in more videos here, including the illumination effect on the status LEDs and the illumination on the external switch. Like I said, they're gonna be covered in other videos. 